Some big and sometimes confusing choices for California voters on the November ballot. A few of the propositions would change the future of gambling in the state. One of those is Prop 26. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Haskell takes an in-depth look. If Proposition 26 passes this November, another form of gambling would be permitted at horse racing tracks and tribal casinos in California. Sports betting and revenue from the prop would go into the state's general fund, which the legislature could use to address homelessness like Prop 26 promises to do, but could also be spent on education, wildfire mitigation, transportation, health care or other issues. A responsible incremental approach to allowing sports betting in California. All bets must be placed in person at either the 66 tribal casinos or four racetracks throughout the state. Um, it gives the people in those facilities an opportunity to ensure that minors aren't betting. You have to show ID. The concern with expanding to online is that there's no foolproof way to ensure that kids aren't gambling online. With in-person sports betting, you can ensure that. But one of the gambling locations in the state opposing Proposition 26, card rooms. There are seven card rooms in L.A. County and 78 total in California. There are interests, specifically chiral interests, that feel that card rooms should not exist. And so this is part of their tactic to be able to eliminate what they see as their competition. The reason why card rooms and the cities in which they're located are the biggest opponents of Proposition 26 is because there's a provision in 26 that allows for private attorneys representing tribal casinos to sue card rooms for the type of card games they offer. While Prop 26 looks good to a lot of people, the reality is that within Prop 26 is a lot of hidden little poison pills in it. And one of them would absolutely devastate communities like Hawaiian Gardens. Card rooms like the Commerce Casino in the City of Commerce and the Gardens Casino in Hawaiian Gardens offer games like poker and blackjack. In Hawaiian Gardens, 70% of the city's general fund is tied to the Gardens Casino. Prior to this card room being in Hawaiian Gardens, uh, you had rampant crime. Uh, the city couldn't sustain itself fiscally. Uh, once this card room came to this community, it just flipped its fortunes. Uh, the residents here are able to enjoy free services like parks and rec. Uh, the level of, of the quality of life here has drastically improved. They provided jobs. They provided scholarships to students. 15% of the revenue from Proposition 26 would go towards problem gambling programs. Dr. Timothy Fong with the Gambling Studies Program at UCLA says right now, California has more opportunities to gamble than any other state in the country. With expanded regulated gambling, there will be more discussion. There will be more acceptance. There will be more availability. Those are the things that can generate more addiction. At the same time, if you put health care protections in place, more prevention, more education, more understanding what the signs of addiction are, you can reduce those percentages of addiction. In Hawaiian Gardens, Josh Haskell, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.